Hi guys, welcome to Next Step with Cherry. So I am very excited whenever I share anything about Canada because I know that Canada is almost everyone's dream country. So a lot of people want to go to Canada, but the thing about the exchange rate, the thing about the monetary aspect of it, and also like it is very, very tedious and the visa rejection and blah, 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 like all these things makes it a little bit difficult for people to decide if they want to go to Canada. So that makes me very happy. Even if it no matter the little opportunity that I see about Canada, I would like, and I always like to share it because it might actually help one person out there. So we are going to look at British Columbia and there is uh, like a funding opportunity or there is a free opportunity, free moved opportunity to Canada that is happening. And this, I am very happy because it covers people that want to go for their masters. And it also covers people that want to go for their bachelor degree. So we have been speaking about scholarships and about funding opportunities recently, but I am very happy because uh, there was actually two Africans that are in the University of, Brit the University of Cambridge. So I reached out to them and I told them they were also on scholarship. So I reached out to them since it's the same scholarship. I asked them to please come and speak to us and tell us how you got this scholarship and how you, we can apply for this scholarship. One good thing about this is that, I mean, even if you are not applying for specifically this scholarship, some of the tips they will give you will help you in any other application like your Erasmus scholarship or any other scholarship that you want to apply. So this event will be happening on Sunday. I'm going to share it. I'm going to post it before then so that you guys can also join if you would want to get some tips on this. Anyways, we are going to talk about University of British Columbia. So there is a scholarship that is going on right now for Africans and that is of course the MasterCard scholarship. For this MasterCard scholarship, you don't need application fee to apply. Now, what about people with WIEC or people with high school and high school certificate and they want to apply for scholarship opportunity? We are also going to see because they also have scholarship of like three to three scholarship opportunities for international bachelor's uh, students. So if you apply for any of the bachelor's program, you will be considered for this scholarship or you can also apply separately for this scholarship. So we are going to see these two scholarships and how you will apply to that. So guys, please remember to share this video with your friends, share with anybody in your groups, anybody that you feel like will need this particular information, please share with them. And also remember to subscribe to my channel and please click the like button. Let us go to my laptop. I will show you step by step how you are going to apply for this. Guys, okay, so we are going to be looking at this scholarship now. So remember that if you're uh, if you are not eligible for it, please try as much as possible to go through the university and their programs because some of these programs do have guaranteed funding. So you can go through that and see if you want to apply for those particular programs that have guaranteed funding. And another tip is that uh, on 22nd of November, that is yesterday of this, like posting this video, if you go to my LinkedIn page, Next Step with Cherry, you'll be able to see I posted about 45 uh, statement of purposes that will help you if you want to apply like some of them are from people that have gotten Erasmus scholarship some of the statement of purposes that they use and even they got Netherlands scholarship as well so you can look through it and you know like it, it might give you insight on how you'll be able to answer some of these questions for this uh, MasterCard scholarship in University of British Columbia. So you can also wait for our Sunday seminar so that you can also get insight from these people that have gotten this MasterCard scholarship that are currently in University of Cambridge. So without wasting time, let us go straight to what we have. Remember that you can always click to these places to read every information that is required. Actually, this MasterCard scholarship covers for undergraduates, but right now the undergraduate is closed. So it's only the graduate admission that is open. So you, if you also want to apply for undergraduate, you need to be checking it so that you know when they will be open. So here you can go down and you can go through it to check the scholarship eligibility, the courses that are there, and also important deadlines. But we are going to focus on the steps. So the step is also like the step of the previous ones that we've talked about. Remember that uh, McGill University, that is M-C-G-I-L-L -L University, is also uh, accepting application for their own MasterCard scholarship. And it's going to close on 1st of December. So if you check this one and you're not eligible, go to McGill University and also check them and see if you're eligible. Just type McGill University MasterCard Scholarship, M-C-G-I-L-L -L MasterCard Scholarship, and you see if you're eligible for that. This step is exactly the same, the same step with this one. 
number one you need to decide the program you want to apply for and then number two you need to check this link to know all the documents you need to submit per your country so each country have their own requirements and then after you've gotten all this if your bachelor's degree was not taught in English, you need to provide IELTS. But if your bachelor's degree was taught in English, you don't need to provide IELTS. So that is the fact about it. And once you are done with that, you will now apply online for this MasterCard scholarship first before you submit your application to University of British Columbia. That is the same step with McGill University if you want to apply for that, uh, their own MasterCard scholarship as well. So you must apply for the uh, MasterCard scholarship here. You just go up here. You see here they said apply this top place you just click on it and then you start your application but you need to make sure you have all the requirements especially the reference letter guys is very important so you see you have to submit a personal statement but this personal statement is not random personal statement you need to make sure that you read they have questions that they ask you here so if you go down you will see there are questions they ask like this from number seven to number eleven these are the questions you need to answer on your statement of purpose or your personal statement so you need to submit that you need to submit a cv this should include the relevant education and work experience voluntary experience research experience teaching experience like publications everything that will make you stand out you need to uh you need to do that so i have also posted previously on my linkedin you can check on my linkedin just scroll through you will see some of the templates that i've posted academic cv then you can select the one that works best for you now another thing is this number four two reference letter must be letter like it will have official letterhead of the university or the organization that is giving you this reference letter and it should speak and attest ex uh, extensively to your community service voluntary abilities and leadership potential anything outside of this don't include it include like project that like let the reference let the person that giving you the reference emphasize on your community service your voluntary abilities and your leadership potential make sure they make sure they emphasize on it you can even this is the same way you need to uh this is the same type of reference letter you need to use to apply for the mcgill university as well because the mastercard scholarship is looking for people that will give back to the society or community people that also have the leadership skill to lead youth to lead programs and also the voluntary uh, ability so you need to emphasize on it Pl please read this reference letter very well so you know what you need now another thing is you also need your transcript when you've applied online everything including your personal statement application form you need to download the application form uh your checklist everything you will still need to send it as a single pdf to this particular email so please read this number six very very well and then from this number seven is more like what you will need to include the questions you need to answer on your personal statement so it is very important that you also read it now once you've applied and submitted your application uh, you've applied online and you've submitted your application remember the declaration you must sign it by hand you must sign it by hand so the next thing will now be for you to wait for the application fee waiver so you will receive an email uh, that will tell you that you are now eligible for this scholarship then they will give you application fee waiver which you will now use to go to this university of british columbia and submit your admission your university admission so once you've submitted it you will now use that application waiver to submit it and then if uh if your if your country is not among these 50 country when you are applying for this mastercard scholarship you will have to select uh, that you want to you want your application fee to be waived so you have to select it so please read this number one and number two very well so you understand it when they now review your scholarship they review your admission if you go through admission then they will give you the scholarship if you scale through so that is basically how to apply now let us go to the one for let us go to the one for undergraduate. So this is the scholarship for undergraduate. Uh, if you have undergraduate program, this is the scholarship. So uh, actually they have two types of scholarship. Uh, one of them is International Major Entrance Scholarship. Another one is Outstanding International Student Award. They actually have like five. I think they have five. So there were three that they had previously that has already closed on November 15th. So you can also look out for it next year. This particular three, they are like, they cover every single thing they cover a lot of things so those ones have already closed and they are, the requirement is a little bit more tedious and uh, more detailed than this 
particular ones. So these ones you have to be considered for, you will be considered for this scholarship. This is the eligibility criteria. And then how can you apply for this scholarship? If you apply to university in like this university, you automatically considered for scholarship. So you automatically will be considered for either of these two, like either of this scholarship, this one or the other one. And the application deadline is January 15th. So this particular University of British Columbia actually offers a lot of uh, scholarship, especially if you are able to indicate your leadership potentials, your academic uh, academic merit and also like your community service they also have it so guys with that i come to the end of this video i hope that this video is uh, a little bit helpful for people that want to apply for this course so like i said previously there is also another one and that is mcgill university mcgill university a scholarship that is also available so this one you can as well apply for either of the two you can even apply for both of them and then you see the one that you you know that will be eligible so you see that it is still open and here are the countries that are eligible i can see ghana here and if you scroll down more there is also nigeria and there is also like kenya is also available mali malawi and how to apply you just have to click on eligibility criteria and then you will see the criteria for this scholarship and how you can apply for it so guys i wish you guys good luck and please remember to share this video these two scholarships mastercard in mcgill and the uh, university of british columbia they are mainly for africans so you can apply and hopefully you'll be able to get this uh, scholarship i wish you good luck and remember to share this video with your friends see you in canada bye